number five, Rahui Katane. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister for the Environment. What reports has he received about any discussions with Ngai Tahu regarding the application from Serious en- en- Environmental to establish an earthquake demolition waste dump in residential Papanui? And what was Ngai Tahu's response, if any? Now we'll Mr. Speaker. Mr Speaker, I have not received any reports about any discussions with Naitahu in relation to this proposal. The Christchurch City Council and Environment Canterbury are the decision makers in relation to any resource consents needed for the proposal. An order in Council under the CERA Act does provide for temporary storage of earthquake demolition waste but it still does require the consent of both the City Council and the Regional Council. Rahui Katane. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Is the Minister aware of the expected environmental impact of the site and how appropriate is it that the proposed site is close to a school and residential properties? Order in calling the Minister to answer it. I don't want to deprive the Minister of answering a question, but as he pointed out in his answer to the primary question, the Minister is not actually responsible for any decision with respect to where such a dump might go. However, recognising that fact, I'm happy for the Minister to attempt to answer the question. Mr Speaker, I don't have the details of the proposals. I would expect the City Council and the Regional Council would need to give consideration to issues of noise, uh, issues of potential dust, as well as um, issues of any contamination of stormwater coming off such a site. Uh, And I would also suspect if any of the immediate communities, such as schools, were likely to be affected, my expectation would be that the councils would consult with those affected parties. Rahui Katani. Thank you. What involvement will there be with Ngā Kai Hautu Tikanga Taio, the statutory advisory committee which has been established to advise the Envi- Environmental Protection Authority on matters relating to policy, process and applications from a Māori perspective? The Honourable Dr Mr. Speaker, Mr Speaker, the advisory committee uh, is for the Environmental Protection Authority. It deals with only very large nationally significant consents While I don't have the detail of the specific consent before me, I'd be highly surprised if it met the national significant tests of applications that go before the EPA, so I would not expect them to have any role. Question number six, the Honourable David Cunliffe.